Hey y'all, before we start, I would just like to say thank y'all so much for all the support I got on the previous mod tutorial video. I'm sorry it took me so long to get around to making the second one, but I really appreciate all y'all's patience. So, let's get into the video. Welcome to part two of my HPM's nuclear tech mod tutorial. This episode will be about oil. So, let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna need, oh, lag is one of these oil reservoir detectors. Let's see the recipe. Now that's pretty simple. Just some steel, some copper, some gold wire, and a, a circuit, which that one may be a little more difficult, but it's this gold dust. You just shred that. Then there's red copper wire. Red copper is made in the blast furnace, copper and redstone. How do I go back? Okay. And then an enhanced circuit. I'm not sure if I showed you how to make one of them or not, but it's just basic circuits, some copper, some quartz, real, real simple. Okay, and then there's an insulator or whatever, I think. Where was the insulator? Oh, in here. Insulator, that's just wool and string, also, super easy. Now, once you have one of these, you can click it, let's say it's over here. There's oil detected nearby. It's scanning the ground up underneath you for oil reservoirs. See, there's none here. None here. Okay, it's nearby. So somewhere pretty close there is something. Now, I, I know there happens to be something right here. So there you go. Right under this block, there is oil. So, once you find the oil, you're going to need something to pump it out. Here's an oil derrick. And we'll come back and set this stuff in a minute. Oh, wait, I should probably show you how to make it little more difficult you know motors I showed you how to make motors and then steel scaffolding easy uh, steel pipes that's that's kind of pricey but hey you need it a titanium drill this one's a little more difficult because you'll need this high-speed steel that's made in a blast furnace steel and tungsten or steel and cobalt let's see All right, I'm, I'm gonna check the tungsten one because I think it's easier I think tungsten is just an ore. Yeah, tungsten is just an ore you find, so it's not too difficult. But come over here and you place it right over where you know the oil is. It doesn't hurt to go down there and check. But once this is set up, it needs power. So at this point, all I had was, but not a boiler, but I had, okay, not that, right here. Here, I got some right here anyway and some copper cable here and then you're going to need coal which i had coal set up right here okay okay so these are really easy if they're not producing enough you could just put another one down so let's just do it like this actually you don't even need to do that i think this is how i did it i don't even think you need this much but let's just try it now all these are connected all these take is a water and then you need some sort of fuel to burn now one good trick to do is if you have enough EMC or diamonds or whatever make an inf that's not how you spell infinite okay I'm struggling infinite water source let's see right here infinite water tank aluminum plates a couple buckets of water and a diamond I think you get your buckets back too but these are so useful because you don't need to go back and check it every every little bit so we'll just grab three of those okay it goes right up here that's going to constantly fill up put some fuel in these that's going to start making fuel send it down into here and start filling this up okay we need more fuel okay now this is getting power slowly so you may want to add more of them like i'm pretty sure i showed you how to make these they're pretty easy they're just yeah, some steel. Yeah, they're super easy to make, so you can put it. Oh. Hello. What? Oh, okay, so that's doing that. Let's just. Let's see if that's not. Okay. Nope, not stopping. But when that's doing that, it's actually mining the oil. See, I wanted to show y'all something, but I didn't set it up properly. But look, down here. Sometimes, this is your extraction pipe, right? Sometimes you'll try to figure out, oh, why, why isn't it pumping oil? Because sometimes, I probably shouldn't have done that. 
there is some sort of modded block right here so uh when there's a modded block it can't go through whatever is there so you need to either break the modded block or i like to just dig a open tunnel all the way down to the reservoir because that just makes it easier see it's getting some of the oil here okay let's go back up it just helps in case you don't know how to fix it now we got crude oil I don't, I don't remember what goes here, some sort of fuse, but I think that's just to burn off any sort of a natural gas that comes off. But you could collect natural gas, so it doesn't really matter that much. See? Natural gas. Okay. Crude oil. Now, to turn the crude oil into other things, you need an oil refinery and a boiler. You're also going to need, let's just, hold up. Move that up. You need fluid ducts. You need, uh, these are helpful to have, and then you need a tank, a few tanks actually, because you'll need, we'll talk about it in a minute. Now, to make the oil, wait, boiler first. Now, to make the boiler, pretty simple, steel, some steel, uh, what are these, steel tanks, steel and titanium, uh, what else? Copper panels, which is plates, a bunch of copper plates, okay, so no biggie. Oh, refinery, that's a little more stuff, but still, just it looks like a lot, but it really ain't. You'll just need like heating coals made with tungsten and circuits and insulator. I mean, it's it, it ain't too bad. It takes a minute to get all this stuff. Out of here, we are going to put a fluid duct into the boiler. With the crude oil, you send the crude oil into here. This is going to boil it and make it hot crude oil. But in, that, in order to actually do that, you are going to need fluid IDs. Now, let me show you how to get those. The machine template folder. That is how you craft fluid IDs. You take your iron plates and you take just whatever die. It doesn't really matter. See how down here it has machine templates. It's the same thing. They're just different shapes. Okay. All these are your, what, are those machine templates? Oh, these are fluid IDs, okay? Now, you're going to want... First, you're going to need crude oil. What is this? Crude oil. Okay. So you click it. It's in your inventory. Now, this is a universal fluid duct, but you need it for crude oil. So you just click on that. Now it's for crude oil. And here, you want crude oil going in. So you're going to drag this up here. It's going to keep you down here. And that just makes it where it's available to take the crude oil. See? I already got it in here now. Now then, you're going to want to boil this crude oil, but first let's set up our other stuff. So, off of here you're going to do a couple pipes, and this goes into your oil refinery. Let's see, it's connected to one of them side there. This is your oil refinery, okay? Your hot crude oil goes into here, it turns it into heavy oil, naphtha, light oil, and petroleum gas. You are going to need to send a spot for every one of these. so. You're going to need four spots. Let's do one out here. Oh, perfect. One here. Okay, yeah, that lines up. I know it doesn't. That's two. Okay, I got four universal tanks set up ready to go. See? Empty. It doesn't say it's where it has anything or whatever. So, through here, the get go into here, these are going to need to be hot crude oil pipes. So, open up your, let's let just get rid of I may need those again. So, open up your machine template folder and find a hot crude oil, which is right next to the other crude oil. So, there you go. Click it, grab it, and then change all these pipes here for hot crude oil. Going in here. Okay. Now, these pipes... Okay, I don't have that going yet. These pipes are going to need heavy oil, naphtha, light oil, and petroleum gas. So, grab those. Heavy oil, light oil, naphtha, and petroleum gas. Is that what it was? Yeah, okay. So, take these. What is this? Heavy oil. Click all the pipe going into whichever tank you choose. And then go to the tank. See one of these right here? This is what tell it it's gonna this is gonna tell it what kind of fluid you're gonna put in it. So take this heavy oil, put it up here, there you go. 
it's ready for oil, heavy oil. You can take that back so you can keep using it. Now here, let's do this as, what is this, light oil? Yeah. Click on all these. There you go. And identify it. There you go, light oil. Let's get the other two set up. There you go, naphtha, petroleum, gas. Okay. Now we have all this set up and ready to go. For power, the same thing you could do like earlier, you take, you know, these and put up, hook up like three generators. Next episode, I think I'll make it about power generation. But just for this sake, I'm just going to use a couple infinite batteries. So I ain't got to hook all that up. But y'all should know how to do that. Now, let's put some... This doesn't need power, but it need does need something to heat up. So you use that. That's heating up. That will go into here. Oh, no, it won't. It'll go over here. The hot crude oil goes into here. It makes heavy, naphtha, light oil, and petroleum. And those will go over to here once it's heating up enough. Okay, while that's heating, that show you what to do with this natural gas. Same thing. You just take... See, I knew I need these again. These two run it off here let's just hook up a tank let's grab the natural gas fluid identifier let's find it I think it's there it is same thing as the others just click on all these identify this there you go and it should yep it's already in there all right, we've got a ton of crude oil. That's turning into hot crude oil, going into here, refining into heavy oil, naphtha, light oil, and petroleum. This also makes sulfur, which I'm not sure what to do with that, but it's good to have, I guess. See, all these are filling up with our respective oils, which then you can figure out what to do with each of these, because I ain't really sure. Petroleum, okay. Then we got natural gas. Now, to take stuff out of here, I think you just, okay. I don't know how the pipe, any sort of liquids or gas or whatever, straight into here. This was like it's for power. It may do something with these, but I ain't sure. But what I've always done is I've just taken these universal fluid tanks. Now, put them up here. It's going to fill those up. And then you can just uh, put these over. See, it's not, not going to work yet because first you'll need some sort of a uh, template. Let's get rid of that. Let's so show something super easy. Let's take uh let's see. Something you can do with natural gas is you turn it in you could turn it into solid fuel. So to do this, let's go over here to the let's see. Okay. These are the chemistry templates, okay? And it, when you want to use this, you got to put sort of the recipe in, which is these. Same with the uh, assembly machine. The one we're looking for is going to be the let's see, natural gas solidification. See, it gives you solid fuel there. Grab one of these, put it up here. This is where the template goes. So nothing's here. Even though I thought, I guess you just need natural gas. Natural gas here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your fluid tanks, which whatever you have in them, fill this up, and then this also needs power. So I thought I had a battery on me, but it seems I do not. Put that in there, it's gonna start, ooh, that's kinda cool. It's gonna start producing whatever you want it to do, so solid fuel. It works like this with about everything, just on a grander scale. More complicated recipes, this and that. Now we're making solid fuel with all that gas. So I guess it'd be a cool way if you don't want to use anything, figure out how to, if you don't want to use natural gas, figure out how to pipe it straight into there and turn it all into solid fuel. That'd probably be cool. I'm not really sure what you do with solid fuel, but I'm sure y'all figure something to do with it. And that's how you set up an oil refinery. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.